Within the Microsoft Office products, one of the things that we understand is that users are frequently challenged in terms of the way they need to support themselves on a day-to-day -day basis. As I talked about earlier, people are very frequently requesting from us features that are already in the product. Well, what this is telling us is that it's very difficult for users to learn the applications. They need an easier way to get the help that they want, and an easier way to get help on things only when they need it. Well, this user interface, the user assistance in the product, has been redesigned and manifests itself in the form of something we call the Office Assistant. I'm going to call the Office Assistant up here on the screen, and you'll see now that this on-screen character is now what the user will use to interact with on a day-to-day -day basis. The Office Assistant helps us address the, the challenge that we know users have of interacting with their computers. We know that users interact with them in a very social way. They talk to them, they get angry at them, they hit them. And in fact, Microsoft Office 97 has been designed to interact back with the user in a likewise social manner. And the Office Assistant is the way that we do that. When the user encounters a problem in their work, they can call up the Office Assistant and using some natural language processing, pose a question to the Assistant, asking it something like, how do I send this document? to my boss. Pose that question in English that we all understand, and the assistant will then go and search the entire library of help topics inside of Office to provide a series of options back to that user. Maybe you've got a problem with a table. How do I delete a column? You're not quite sure? Type that in, and the assistant will go off and find the results for that. Based on our research, we're able to produce a successful result set from this that gives the user some sort of help about eight times out of 10. So it's a very successful tool to provide the kind of assistance users need, and you interact with this in a very simple way, not having to understand any jargon or dig down inside of a help file to the ninth level. You're simply able to pose a question using a very intuitive interface. We also, with Office 97's Office Assistant, provide a much more powerful way for the user to interact with that assistant. The assistant will, for instance, monitor what you do and give you help as you work. Remember, the assistant is supposed to be my expert down the hall that I would normally go and talk to. Well, just as you can ask the expert a question, the expert will also watch over your shoulder as you work. So, for instance, if I was working inside of my document and I start typing a letter here, I type in, Dear John, and as I type here, the assistant will recognize the work that I'm doing and says, It looks like you're writing a letter. Would you like some help on that? Well, as a matter of fact, I would. So I'm just going to simply click to get some help writing the letter. Well, if you're writing a letter using Office 97, you should probably use the letter wizard. The letter wizard is a great tool that allows you to simply answer a few basic questions about the way your letter is formatted, who you're sending it to, etc. And we'll go off and format the letter and create that standard format for you. And you can focus on writing the letter itself. Now, interestingly enough, the letter wizard has been available inside of Office for a number of years, but very few users know about it. And this is a great way to expose this type of feature to the user without having to do any training at all. As you, as you noticed, all I did was simply start typing in a letter, and based upon the rules technology built into the Office Assistant, it recognized what I was doing and offered up the help that it figured was very valuable to me at that point. A great way for the user to interact with the Assistant. Based upon our research, the Assistant itself has been designed to do a couple of things. It's designed to be the one place users go to get help. It's designed to be very intuitive in the way you interact with it. It's also designed to be very unobtrusive. The user has the ability, for instance, to completely customize the way that that assistant will work with, with them on a day-to-day -day basis. You can control, for instance, the type of help that you require. Maybe you use the keyboard a lot and would love to learn about shortcuts. By clicking on this option, the office assistant will now offer up help when there's an easier way with a keyboard shortcut to do something. And it's a good example of how you can customize the type of help the assistant will give. If you're going to interact with the application in a social way, though, there's going to be certain personalities that you like. And so what we've done is designed the Office Assistant to provide a whole series of different personalities or characters that you can work with it. We've got Clip It, the paper clip that you can work with. We also provide the Dot, the genius character. Hoverbot, for those of you that don't like a very interactive assistant, we have the Office logo. There's a Mother Nature character, Power Pup, Scribble the Cat, and William Shakespeare, all of which work with you in a slightly different way. And just as there's people we like to work with and people we don't, there's going to be an office assistant that you like to work with and others that you may not. And that, in fact, is by design. You can choose a particular assistant that you want and get that assistant displayed uh, on a regular basis. And that, in fact, carries across all of the office applications because the office assistant is another piece of the shared code technology within Office 97. The Office Assistant is also designed to be unobtrusive. So as I'm working, it's designed to get out of the way. It will not block a dialog box or block the work that I'm doing. For instance, if I switch to Excel for a quick second, you can see here inside of Excel that if I was working in a particular cell and started to scroll around to the right 
or below, the assistant will move out of my way as I work to make sure that it's not providing any sort of barrier to getting my work done. A pretty fun way to work with the assistant and a way that makes sure that, that it's not, being, uh, not getting in the way as you work on a day-to-day -day basis. A number of people also ask us, do I have the ability to turn the assistant off? And of course you can. At any point you can simply hide the assistant. He'll go away and you can call it up at any point in the future if you so desire. I hope you'll agree the Office Assistant provides a really exciting new way for users to get the help that they need on a day-to-day -day basis from the Office applications. Here at Microsoft, we've already seen the benefits of the Answer Wizard technology that's built into the Office Assistant. With Office 95, we introduced the first version of the Answer Wizard, and we've seen a reduction in our own support calls from customers of 16% versus Office 4.0. So we expect to see some real great benefits to the corporation in terms of hard bottom line savings of Office versus previous versions of the products from a support cost standpoint.